Hey, what's going on, guys? In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can use a trim path to animate your text while sharing After Effects. Without anything further to do, let's get started. So, to get started, I'll create a new composition and I'll name it Text Trim. For the width, I'm going to allow 1920 and the height by 1080. Then, for the frame width, I'm going to allow 30 and for the duration, 2 seconds because this is going to be a short animation. Hit OK. Then, select my text tool and I'll type in Text Trim. Go to the Align tab and I put this at the center of our composition. So for the animation, I want to use the stroke. Since I'll be using the stream, the trim path, you need a stroke. And for that to be possible, I'm going to draw each character here individually using a stroke on another separate layer. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'll grab my pen tool and I'll set the stroke to let's say blue and the stroke width to 30. Then I come here, and zoom in, and I draw individually here. I draw a stroke I draw a stroke from here so that it fills everything beneath this layer then as you can see for this T it has another layer here I'll need to put another stroke here and since I don't want these two the two strokes to be on different layers with this very layer selected so I'll click out of this and I select this bar so that you now have another individual stroke and from the bottom I'm going to hold shift again and draw a straight line here I'll do that for all of these layers here So with all the strokes being drawn, I'm going to select everything, hold shift and click here. By click, I'm going to pre-compose and I'll type this text layer. Double click on the text layer. And then press Ctrl A to select everything. Hold Ctrl and double click on the pan behind to, to put all the anchor points at the center of the composition. I'm going to do again to so come right here to add and then I'll take trim path. For the trim path, I'll start with an end keyframe, move 30 frames ahead by holding Ctrl Shift with the right arrow key three times to move 30 frames ahead. Set another keyframe here, come to the very start and put it at zero. Select everything, hit F9 to easy, easy keyframes. Go to my graph editor, and if you cannot view a graph editor like this, you just come down here and take edit speed graph. Select this handle here and bring this behind. So I'll select these two keyframes, Ctrl C to copy the keyframes. Select everything apart from the first layer and I press Ctrl V to paste the keyframes here. Press U to make the keyframes be visible. All of them now animate to the trim path. So the next thing to do is that I'll offset every layer here. They come in one after the other individually. So right here in my default composition, I'll come down here to the text trim, this, this default text layer here. Go to this track mat and I go to alpha mat. So what this does is that anywhere that this top layer is visible, this one will also be visible. So if I hit play by pressing the space bar, you now see how it animates the, the text. It's very easy to do. And you can use this to also do some kind of complex shapes or logos in which you cannot really use the trim path there. You can use the stroke to cover it up and use the track mate so that it now animates as if you use a trim path on the object. Meanwhile, you use a a mask or a track made on it. So there you have it guys for this tutorial on how you can animate your text using a trim path. Hope you like the video and if you do please do subscribe to the channel and also smash the like button for this video because it helps the YouTube algorithm to, to recommend the video on my channel to other viewers. See you in the next one and peace out.